Yo, 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 what's going on, Hydra? This your boy Vicious here, bringing you guys once again another gameplay commentary. Now, the gameplay in the background is by the Phenom YT, and it is a punch after every kill DNA bomb. The link to his channel will absolutely be in the comments below, so don't forget to head over and show some love, because you all know we all love some love. Okay, cricket. So, how have you guys been, man? Uh, good, great, awesome. Uh, been a little minutes as I uploaded to this channel, maybe just just a week. You know, I only been in the clan for about a week. Now, are you guys, are you Xbox guys enjoying the Havoc DLC uh, zombies? Uh, as for me, a lot of the maps kind of resemble previous Call of Duty game uh, maps. Uh, you know, I haven't really played it, but it's whatever, nothing too special. I haven't tried out zombies yet, but if you are on Xbox One and you want to try out some zombies, feel free to add me. Gamertag is the vicious killer. I'll put it in the comments if, I, if I'm allowed to. But yeah, let's play some zombies. I don't mind. I don't mind. Now, what do you guys think about Call of Duty having one developer? Is it better to have three or is having one better or two better like it used to be? Um, I know it's really something to think about. This is just a consideration that may better the franchise as a whole. So I have three words of advice for Activision. Quality over quantity. Activision themselves, man. Now, let me break this down because I know you guys are probably wondering why the hell would I be giving advice to Activision. Now, I, I know they're not going to listen or see this, but a lot of people on YouTube have not been quite enjoying Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. And I think one of the main things Activision should put into consideration with its developers is definitely quality over quantity. I've been told this so many times, man, when it came to growing my channel, people always tell me vicious quality over quantity. You know what I'm saying? And now, look at me sharing it with Activision. Alright. Um, I think a solution to the quote-unquote downfall of Call of Duty could be really to be to simply have one developer. Now, like I said, this is my idea. Instead of having three developers, Call of Duty should have stuck to the idea of having one developer. That way, you know, instead of having to get used to a different game every single year, one developer can make a great game every two years. Uh, that everyone will enjoy you know I think that's the problem people get adjusted to one game and you know as soon as they do another game comes out and they have to get used to that one so you know the good to having one developer is that it could possibly allow players to settle in and get comfortable with the game and play it for a while but 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 because there's always a good and a bad side to every situation on the bad side the bad side to that is that that's kind of it's kind of too late I mean, three developers are already in the game. They're already in the business. And to think about it, it would kind of be messed up if they just kicked two developers off because the players did not really enjoy their game. You know what I'm saying? We have to realize that money talks. You know what I'm saying? Money is what keeps the family together. It's a business. It's a corporation. It, it um, you know, a million dollar corporation. Uh, money talks. Bottom line. I mean, they may say that, you know, we're here for the fans. Uh, we, we're going to please fans. We're going to do everything they want. But just put yourself in the shoes of a developer. Um, imagine your boss or your head company kicking you off of the team because your, your, your content isn't good enough. There goes your money. Not only for the boss, but for you as well. Um, that makes sense. So... Another bad thing is people want new stuff, you know, they want, they, they don't want to be playing the same game for two years, and, and I'm all for that, you know, I don't want to play the same Call of Duty for two years, but I mean, at the same time, I played Call of Duty 4, Modern Warfare 2, and Black Ops 1, and even Black Ops 2, years after they were made, even if the Prime, if, even if their Prime, Prime was well done and well over with, but uh, maybe great DLC could make up for waiting so long, maybe that's a compensation, uh, for waiting for so long for another game. You know, a lot of people say that Call of Duty is dead. And honestly, I don't think it's dead. I think people need to realize that Call of Duty is ju it's just not the only game that people play. And maybe we just have to get used to change. Because change is change. It's not going to be the same. Because obviously things aren't always going to be how we want. In the real world. And even in the gaming world. Um, but I, know, I, I, I don't know, man. That's just my opinion. You know, I would like to know you guys' opinion in the comments below. I mean, even though two years is a very long time, do you guys think that it's... It's very reasonable, uh, you know, to have one developer. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Um, also, if you had a choice, which game developer would you choose to make every Call of Duty from here on out? Uh, leave that in the comments below. I want to hear you guys' feedback. What do you guys think about this topic? Sorry for being kind of stuttery. I just got home, man. So freaking tired. Like, you've been really, really tired to the point where you can't even talk. 
you know, that's how I am. Uh, senior in high school, man, it's crazy, and college is going to be even worse. But um, it is what it is. Hope you guys enjoyed the gameplay. Hope you guys enjoyed the commentary. Thank you, Hadrid, for this upload. Until next time, guys, stay vicious and peace out.